welcome back to Angie's Pantry. Today I'm going to show you how I make a quick, easy meatloaf. Let me bring you in a little closer and show you how I do this. So you're going to need a bowl, um, some gloves. You don't have to use gloves. I like to use gloves. I've got about two pounds of hamburger here, 90-10. You can use whatever kind you want. Let's stick that in the big bowl first. Let me back you up. All right, just I just little. stuck the hamburger in there. You're going to take a box of stuffing mix, whatever kind you want. It really doesn't matter. And what's neat about this is it's got the vegetables in it that you want in there already. Stick that in there. This is so easy. Now you can stop there if you want, but I like to add. Um, a little packet of the beefy onion soup mix to the mix just gives it a really nice beefy flavor and an egg and I like to add a little bit of pepper to mine probably I don't know just to taste now I'm not going to add a whole bunch of salt, but I am going to add just a little because um, salt does give flavor. And there is salt in the um, stuffing mix and the beefy mushroom sauce. I'm going to add just about a half a tablespoon of olive oil in there because I am using the 90-10 hamburger. And this is just a small chopper. Now you can chop up things any way, however you want to do it, or chop it by hand. I prefer to use this because it's quick, easy, and I like it. So I'll get busy. You just put in your onion, and your garlic, and then and it comes out beautifully chopped. Now if you've got carrot, you can add that in if you want, but I'm just adding what I got. All right, I had to go get my little spatula. So, chopped it up nice. Now, I like a little extra onion flavor, so I'm going to add, it's a total of a half of a medium onion that I use in mine. So, that's how it looks so far. Let me get this cleaned up real quick, and I'll be right back. I did put some gloves on and I got a container that I'm going to put the mixed meatloaf in to let it sit in the fridge until oh, about 10-15 minutes before I am ready to um, bake it at 375 for about an hour and I will show you when I shape it up in there. I'm going to grab one more egg because I think it needs it. I put the egg in there. Now I'm going to use my hands and I'm just going to squish it around. You don't want to over mix it. Just blend it well. It smells good. And I'll fast forward you through this. out of here. Um, I sprayed my pan. And you're going to make this into like a loaf shape. That's why it's called meatloaf. Now push it down. Okay? Because it's when it cooks, it's going to shrink up. So Push it down, try to get it together, and then take your finger and just run a couple lines and hold it together. And that's where you're going to put the ketchup over it. Again, push it down. All right. And you take your ketchup. And run it across the top. 
put it in a preheated oven at 375 for one hour and it will turn out beautiful. All right, that's it. Be back in an hour when it's all done and ready to dish up. This is cooked for an hour and cooled for about 25 minutes. I'm just gonna go around the pan at the bottom and lift up the meatloaf itself. Try to break it loose from the pan. You're gonna have some crusty spots. See how it moves? That's what you want. Real easy meal. And you cut it any way you cut yours. I don't like to cut all of mine out at once. But I will show you what it looks like. That is what it looks like on the inside. It's really good, yummy. Husband's gonna love it. That is what we're having for dinner tonight. Real easy meatloaf. Now you can throw it together like that and bake it right away. You don't have to let it set like I did. I just did because I started it early. But that's, and I love the crunchy part. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you for watching. Big hugs from my pantry to yours. Bye.